Okay, uh, once you install the TIA portal software, you will have this kind of a number of uh, shortcut keys on your desktop. In here, you have to select the icon with the TIA portal and version number. Here, I'm uh, installed version is the TIA portal 19. So, double click on it. That will take a few moments to open the TIA portal software. Okay, uh, this is the starting window of the TIA portal software. The we are in start tab and open existing project sub tab. Under this tab, you can see the recent projects uh, shown in here. If you want to open the recent project that you have worked on, the select project and the click open. Then if you want to create the new project, you have to select this button. So you have to give the name for the project and the path to save the project and you can create the project. Then if you want to migrate project, migrate project in, if you want to convert the version of the project, you have to select this one. Then the welcome tour is given and also the install software detail is given under this set tab and also the help that will open in a separate window here. Then uh, user interface language, language uh, user interface language is shown in here. Here we are going to uh, create a new project. So I am going to click on this uh, create new project. So I am going to write the name. I am going to give the name for this one. Just uh, program three. So I am going to use the. I am going to save it in here. Okay, you can give any comments. Okay. Click uh, create. Okay, uh, to set up the project as the beginner, I strongly recommend to follow this uh, step given by the uh, Siemens. First of all, you have to configure the device. The click on the configure device, add, uh, then go to add a new device. Then you have to select the controller. Here, I'm going to select uh, Semantic S7 uh, 1200 type PLC and uh, CPU model of uh, 1215 the version 4.6 by PLC is a AC power supply a DC input a relay output type uh, PLC here we can see uh, details uh, digital input 14 uh, digital input to 24 volt DC sync source type and uh, 10 uh, relay outputs and the two analog inputs then high speed uh, counters six and uh, four false outputs and also two analog output also there okay i'm going to add this uh, plc to my project then you have to set the plc security settings the first one protection of confidential plc data so you can protect confidential plc data through giving uh, by giving the uh, password but uh, here I am not going to set any password and for the uh, the mode for PG, PC and HMI communication this one I am going to select uncheck this one and also the PAC access protection so I am going to give full access all of these uh, PAC security settings we are going to discuss on a separate video because uh, we are going to discuss uh, how to write the first PAC program with the TR portal Okay, click on the finish. Okay, uh, this is the project uh, window. Okay, this is the PLC. In the right hand side, you can see uh, you can add the input output modules. In here, you can see add, you can add uh, communication modules. But uh, here only the CPU module is there. Then, uh, once you double click on this CPU module, you can see the properties are shown in here. The general properties, the project information, the project information, the catalog information, then the description of the CPU and the version, article number, and also the uh, outputs, and also the analog output channels. The details uh, are given in this uh, general. Then under the input output tags, you can see all the Input output addresses are listed in here belongs to this PLC. Here you can see the 14 input and addresses boolean the input uh, boolean input type. Then uh, here you can see the analog inputs the integer uh, the data type is integer 
and here you can see a log output data is uh, integer then you can see the a log input uh, address and a log output addresses and here you can see the outputs okay uh, here we are going to write the first uh, PLC program so expand this one program blocks so double click on this uh, main program block to open that will open the main program block when executing the PLC program the PLC execute the instruction in the main program block okay uh, this is the opening window then here you can see the one network and some instructions listed in here here in the right hand side you can see the basic instructions here you can see the bit logic operations listed in here and the timer instructions listed in here the counters listed in here comparators the instructions and the data handling instructions all are listed in here here the few uh, things that appear in here is the belongs to the favorite category you can add any uh, instruction to the favorite category that will appear in here okay, let me show that one also if you want to add uh, some uh, math instruction add instruction so drag and drop it in here so then that will appear in here also in that way you can customize this instruction uh, list appear in here okay let's uh, see how to write the simple logic program here i'm going to write uh, latch circuit click on this uh, instruction and drag it over in here here you can see the normally open contact here we have to give the address relevant memory address is a boolean a data type for that here i am going to this is the start push push button this input should have to give through the input port of the plc so the go to the local modules and select the plc and uh, here you can see under input output tags you can see all the input outputs listed in here here I am going to select uh, one of this input you can select here I am going to select uh, I0.0 .0. so that means I am going to connect the start button the uh, input signal to the I0.0 .0 port in the PLC here click and drag it over here here you can see I0.0 .0 address in here then you can rename this tag here uh, the default tag name is tag1 is shown in here you can give custom a name for this memory location right click the rename tag so i'm, I'm going to rename this memory location with the uh, start start change so always uh, try to give a relevant uh, name that will increase the readability of the program okay uh, to complete the latch circuit i'm going to add the normally uh, close contact in here then this is the output and also there's an optional path latch In this way we can create the latch circuit here also we have to give the addresses uh, memory addresses for these uh, boolean memory addresses for these uh, contacts so there's another method to give these addresses you can give these addresses through the uh, tag table go go to PAC tags and open the tag table default tag table here you can see one tag is shown in here that is uh, that is the one we have already created so then again i'm going to i'm going to create the new tags 
here again I'm going to open the uh, input output available with the PIC then the stop button I'm going to connect I0.1 here drag it over in here okay then change the tag game to the stop okay then output is I'm going to go. you can select any of this output here I'm going to select output is given through the Q0.0 I'm going to name it as the motor okay we then go to the uh, main uh, program block then uh, double click and click on this right side then you can see the existing uh, tags shown in here from this existing tag you can select the any tag here I am going to select the stop here that address assigned to this uh, instruction you can see here also you can add uh, tag this instruction like this this is the output here the I'm going to latch the circuit with the 0, 0.0 okay this is the completed circuit latch circuit so then we are going to uh, run this uh, latch circuit and simulate before you are going to simulate this uh, circuit we have to compile click on this compile here you can see no errors or warning sign then we are going to simulate this uh, uh, program we are going to use PLC sim software once you click on this uh, start simulation that will open click on it ok 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 in uh, TR portal 19 that will open this kind of uh, separate window like this for a while the minimize this one then click on connect then uh, we are going to load the program load then change the state of the PLC to start module then the finish to see the how input output is work click on this uh, monitor monitoring on off here you can see you can see how the power flow in uh, PLC program uh, here the blue color dash line is shown the no power area then uh, green color lines are shown on power area here you can see there is no power flow to the motor because this is open ok let's see how to simulate this uh, simple program using the PLC ok this is the PLC sim uh, window click on this instances click on this uh, simulation so we are going to add a sim table that means we are going to add input output tags to the table then we can uh, change the state of the input outputs then click on the plus sign then to load the input output in here the table click on this uh, properties select the input output and the memory and click load selected tags you can see this input output and memories load into this uh, sim table then click on this uh, start then by click on this we can change the state of the input output here you can see i0.0 dot two dots and the p the p is specifying the peripheral input the external input should have to give through this uh, to this uh, i0.0 uh, port here also same ok let me uh, show you how to simulate this one let me float this the window ok here we are going to change the state of the input these uh, memory locations using this one if you click on this that will change the state of the 
boolean uh, logic and you can see there's a power flow to the q0.0 when you turn off this power flow is continue because the optional path has created like this you can terminate this power flow once you click on this restore button you can see the power flow has terminated again i will show you this simulation once you click on this uh, start button it's a power flow when you are releasing this push button here the power flow is continued because this optional path has created so once you click on this uh, stop button you can see this power flow has terminated this q0.0 goes to low okay this is how we are writing a simple logic program and simulate on the portal software on next video we are going to discuss uh, further more advanced topic in uh, tr portal software okay see you next time